Arkansas Farm Bureau delegates joined farmers and ranchers from across the country in Phoenix for American Farm Bureau's 98th annual convention. For the first time in more than 20 years, the American Farm Bureau annual meeting was held in the Valley of the Sun. Saguaro Cactus and the Arizona Desert provided a scenic backdrop to the gathering of farm and ranch leaders. American Farm Bureau President Zippy Duvall of Georgia opened the convention noting that he was able to visit 33 states in 2016 and plans to visit the remaining 17 this year. He said meeting with farm and ranch leaders in their home states is critical to understanding their individual challenges and needs. Concerning agriculture's congressional priorities, Duvall emphasized regulatory reform tops the list. Another issue that I've heard a lot about as I've visited our farmers and ranchers was the need to stop over-regulation of agriculture. On this issue, just like in, uh, in ag labor, many of our farmers have told me that if you don't fix this one, the rest of them's not going to matter because over-regulation will put our farmers and ranchers out of business. Now, we expect Congress and the President to listen to us and to work to help us strengthen agriculture and rural communities. And we expect to make a real difference on a wide range of issues this year. Talking about tax reform, growing our trade and exports, regulatory reform, and ag labor. But, it truly, but to be truly influential in rural America, we have to be united. And that's what this convention is all about. Arkansas President Randy Veach agreed with Duvall's assessment and is optimistic positive steps can be made to rein in the EPA following Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt's nomination to lead the agency. Hopefully with the new administration that and the new EPA, uh, director of EPA, which is out of Oklahoma, and uh, the president of Oklahoma, we've had several conversations and, and thinks he'll, he'll do a good job and American Farm Bureau thinks he'll do a good job and, and we kind of know a little bit about him and we think that we have an opportunity there to hold back on these overreaching regulations. But it's not only with EPA, we've got other ones out there too. And so uh, we've got to continue to work on that front. Overreaching regulations will actually take us out of profitability. And that when we're out of profitability, we are not sustainable. The AFBF convention provides an opportunity for Arkansas farmers and ranchers to take a break from their work at home to learn from experts on a wide range of topics that will help improve their operations and challenge them to become stronger advocates for agriculture. Yeah, I've gotten a few ideas. I've attended some uh, workshops on dealing with family and uh, being in a family business together. And I've, I've networked with some people in the trade show and, and learned a few product ideas and things that maybe I can take back. For our livelihood to continue as, as generations before us, I think it's really important to be involved because we, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, groups and, and people with uh, hidden agendas uh, that are really uh, here to, to take, take down agriculture and, and, and all part of agriculture, including animal agriculture. So I think if we don't offer our voice and, and become united and be loud in that voice, who will? And I think we just need numbers. That's where we're lacking in agriculture. To be that loud voice is, is the numbers to be involved. Dustin Jones of Harrison performed well in the YF&R discussion meet, advancing to the Sweet 16 semifinal round. And Arkansas voting delegates helped determine national policy for the coming year. In addition to setting strict objectives for regulatory reform, other priority issues included a stepped-up safety net for dairy and cotton farmers in the 2018 Farm Bill. 